I actually only saw because my friend was showing me that he was watching, not like telling me a hand. I saw that you had a queen on the when I had quads. But, Shocking! Like, you I mean, know what that? else do you have? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I also had a deuce as well with my hand. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, you won the button again. Convenient. <laughs> oh yeah, we're back to 153. Yeah. yeah. All right. Got a couple submissions here for the Young Gun Parker mixtape. I don't think these are very good. Can you raise my whatever you want to do? You can hop in here. All right. Parker, we got a different game already. We can tell already we got a different game. At least I'm chip leader for one. Oh, I was chip leader. At one point, the other one, too. That's what they call setting right, the Parker's tone All right, Parker is now in the booth with us. I was a big, you know, early day of tournaments. Make right. sure I won the, well, I would have played this, uh, Where's this entry anyway, of, the, right? of the Young Gun would you, But you would get there consistently for, like, the first? I think uh, this oh, is day what, twos. I, oh, day twos. Sure. Yeah. That's not okay. Oh, day one. Come on. No. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. But I've gotten better at that because of the fact I play so rarely. I'm just like, if I'm here, I might as well. That doesn't know, look try, like me either. That looks like Phil. Usually, if there's no cash game running, I'll do that. It's quite poor entry so far. Okay, a couple big hands to 36. kick off our second match. I don't know. What, what do we call these rounds? Probably rounds, right? Rounds in the match, definitely. Okay, so round two here of match number one. Whiskey, three rating the King 10 suited. And I imagine Deeb is going to call. I'm going to take a flop. Root for a king. Let's see some action. Kind of interesting board. Mm -hmm. Both players brick. Uh, Bousquet does pick up back to a flush draw. Expect to see a bet in the call, I would assume. I think we're going to see a very small bet. Last call, call baby, for your table thing. Probably build a quarter, I guess. 1,800 or something. 1,800, it looks like. Look at you go. Hey, man. You know exactly what he's going to be. You, have you, have I'm, you been in the lab? I've been in the lab. You know, I've, I have genuinely been in the lab. I know, you know. I know. You have been in the upswing lab. I have been in the How upswing lab. How you been liking lab. that? I'm thoroughly enjoying it. You know, Fees and I were making some content the nice. other day just before flying out here as well. Awesome. I've I also just been checking out some content in the lab. It's been good, man. Solid. Uh, I actually also just uh, did some, some content with Fees. By the way, six on the turn here. Clubs now for Bousquet. Uh, but we have a module coming out on blockers for the Upswing Lab coming up here. Should be fun. We reviewed a bunch of uh, my high stakes hands I've played in the last couple of months on Poker After Dark, um, as well as Poker Masters. So that was fun. What kind of uh, turn barrel size? I mean, he for sure is barreling here, right? It's just what, how much does does he go? Do you think about half pot? I think it's likely we're going to see a round to half pot. I don't think you can bet too too big. As he proves me wrong. 60, no, that's 65. It's, yeah, that's yeah it's a little bit bigger, but. I think this is still fine. The problem, if you go if you go too, too big, is that then your opponent starts to call you with a lot of trips. Mm -hmm. And then your ability to value bet over pairs goes down a lot, right? And it, it, it's really important to have an ability to value bet some of these over pairs. So you like even a little bit less than half pot then? I yeah, think, yeah. I think I like something a little more okay. in the 4 or 5k range. But uh, yeah, something in that city. Guys, I would have I would have said that as well. Ooh. That's that's really good news for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready to go, man. I'm, I'm I'm ready, man. I'm fired up. Hey, did you brush Especially up on your heads up game for this? I did, yeah. Nice. You know, I played a played a couple of hands of heads up. I got in the lab. I got in the uh, the Doug Polk Master Class uh, heads up Master Class, and I uh, I was I was I was checking out some ranges yeah. there. Nice. Nice. Good place to learn. Yeah. Always such a good time. In my completely unbiased opinion. In my <laughs> <laughs> Busque takes down another one. Right back out of the gate. Giving Deeb some business. And he did use one of the exposes. So, yeah, I mean, like we talked about, you know, it seems like uh, Olivier doesn't really care or, you know, he's just going to do his thing and probably you know do pretty well doing it but he didn't use either of them last match yeah i think he needs to to loosen up his range on using those reveals for sure
to be fair, Sean didn't really win many pots more than like six or seven K, so I guess it's kind of hard. Yeah, Deeb never actually won any pot. That's actually a very good point. Yeah. The other guy has to win a pot. Of, of some substance. Right, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Deeb's got he's got to think positive here. You know, you are not really? anywhere close out of this. In yeah, the I mean, first not king of the hill, yeah, I have a bad feeling that someone was told down John that like, I raised 8, a lot of bets. 5,800. Counter by like re-raising a lot. You know? Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. the yeah. person who listens to that. Yeah, I think it was like six, six, seven or 8K. Well, it was I mean, something, something like that. that. But just yeah. that, you know. I, I noticed how few buttons you did. Yeah, fall. I didn't. I didn't. Yes. Oh. I didn't. I didn't watch it live, but I did watch it after. And listening to you go, this would be one of the biggest comebacks of all time. And I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do it. Oh, God. Poor Jungle, man. It's it's honestly okay. kind of funny to watch Jungle just get hyper tilted. By the way, we got some trips here for Deeb. Hey. Not, not, not much. Not, not even much. a backdoor flush draw for Buscada. How bad does Deeb run? Come on. Do it. Yeah, let's just find a way to always think about how <laughs> bad Deeb's running. That's, that's what I need in my life. <laughs> I have literally no idea how Deeb runs in real life. I, I, I think he runs pretty hot on, like, Poker Night in America cash games, though, right? You know, in my experience, I think Deep's done quite well on Poker Night. I'm not really totally sure what the overall up-down is, but he's definitely done well. I, I've, I had done well until, until, uh, until my last couple trips. So you had, how many scotches did you have? I don't even remember. Were you just ordering double scotches? Yeah, and double wines. Double wine? <laughs> double? What's a double wine? Exactly. Just a really big glass of wine. <laughs> just a really big glass of wine. Just oh a really big God. glass of wine. Yep. That is correct. This is a very effective strategy. <laughs> that is the worst of the three hands I've had. I believe it. I believe it. Tonka and Phil will be playing later today, guys. Once this match is over, they will tag in. Yeah. I'm really curious as to, like, how much Phil is going to talk down to me. I don't think he's going to talk down to you. No? Well, he's going to talk in a way of, like, superiority. I mean, uh, of course. I mean, he even, even versus you in Jungle, he did that, of course, as yeah. well. I, I, but it's but not, like you it's and Jungle, you, he, you and Jungle, he respects though. You know, like even though he obviously thinks he's God's gift to poker, and he thinks he's way better than you guys, yeah. even yeah. still, and that you are just going to give it to him. Like he, he at least respects you guys. You know. Yeah. One time he told me, and this is a true story. He told me he might follow me on Twitter. That's big. He told you he might follow you on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, I mean that's. I, I was like, wow. I yeah. Didn't, what, I, I didn't realize that I had like you know almost like I, I've made it, and that was like the moment when it just hit me. That's like, when. Phil Helmy might follow me on Twitter. He didn't, he did, okay. but he told me he might. Okay, and that, okay. That's just, it, it's important. That's really what's yeah, I mean, important. if you make it in there, you're, you're hanging out with some of his best buddies. That's very true. That is very true. Does, uh, good question. Does PH have to give up his belt, or is a new belt awarded? I would imagine it's the same <laughs> belt, or is it a new belt every time? He was probably supposed to bring the belt. He didn't bring the belt? He just Thank kept you. it at home. <laughs> That's the most Phil thing. Dude, That's the power of positive thinking. <laughs> the power of positive You don't even bring the belt. You don't even bring the belt. You know you're going to keep it. You know, you guys they're, like, no they're like, no, 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 but Phil, even when you win, we still want you to take a winner's picture with it. He's like, no, we don't need that, guys. It's it's at my house. It's it's there to stay. It's in good hands. It is in good hands. Man, when this weekend is over, I don't know how many times I'm going to have said... Yep, that's that's the most Phil thing True. that I can I can imagine. I've already said it three times, I and know. I met him earlier today. I know. F Phil, though, I, going back to your question, I, I will say that F Phil has been really nice to me. You know, like he, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Though he respects you guys. You know, like there's no way that he can respect me. I like, wonder when he learned who you were. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. What do you think? Do you think? Do you think it was before this match, or do you think it was when he found out of this match? I think it was. Because he's never been on Twitch. You know that for sure. He has been on Twitch. He's been on Twitch? He streamed on Twitch. Oh, my God. I remember. <laughs> and he did a very silly thing. I remember that. <laughs> What's your uh, upcoming okay. schedule like? Um, going to Janine Deeb's wedding next week. Okay. And then uh, going to that Punta Cana, like, party poker, yeah, poker night thing. Oh, you are? Yeah. And what is that? That's like a, is it it's one? A, it's a 5K, 5 million guarantee with, like, a whole festival. Like a 5K, a 10K, a 25K, 
I think they're going to stream a high roller cash game from here. Yeah, it's going to be good. Wait, you know, what? It's a 5K and a, with a, five, a, a 5, a 5, a 10, and a 25K. The, the 5K has like a million guarantee. Where is this? In Punta Cana. Uh, the only issue is for Americans is during Thanksgiving. Ah. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Got it. I knew, I knew there was going to be an issue of some <laughs> sort. <laughs> like, wait, what? But I still think it's going to get a big... Yeah, yeah, sorry. Good catch, good eye. Oh, you're not going to short any pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I Especially one you haven't won yet. <laughs> Check. makes the call here with his second pair, second pair, second top kicker. Got to Verdeev now on the turn, but uh, Check. it's not a great one. Yeah, will he fire? Did, wait, sorry, what was the action on the flop? Uh, D bet and Bousquet called. Okay. Now we see check, check. You like a bet from Deeb on the turn? Uh, I don't mind it. It's not a very good turn for you, though, you know? Um, obviously, yeah. a lot of hands get there. And you're going to have a jack. You could barrel with a jack. You could barrel with an eight. You could barrel with diamonds. You, you do have a lot of better jack. barrel cards. Exactly. So a lot of better, better barrel hands. Yeah, I, Nine. I, I, I actually think I like deep line. Tons of play left here. Did I miss the Tonka punt? No, that's going to be a little bit later, guys. Right now, Tonka is here in the booth with me, Young Gun Parker. As I tell my chat and all of the people on the internet all the time, I never, ever punt. Ever. Ever. Have you punted once? I've never punted. Ever. I have made some uh, aggressive maneuvers. Some aggressive maneuvers uh, that were usually backed up by, uh, you know, some strategy and a lengthy thought process. Oh, that's pretty. That's okay. We got a pretty good Young Gun Parker submission here. Yeah, I, I yeah. feel like I feel like there might be better out there somewhere. Yeah, we, we, you can hold off right now for sure, but that's that's that's, that's definitely taking the cake right now. Yeah, this might be our winner. Um, but yeah, no, never, never have I punted. <coughs> we just have the tonk punt emote for for when other people punt, you know. That's what it's for. It's not for right. when I do anything. Right, it's for other people. Yeah. Oh, we actually have a few going in the chat here. I don't know, man. The new one is just so, it's, uh, I don't what know. What about you? Any trips You don't like it as much, huh? I don't. I like That's the classic. The classic. Yeah. I guess I'm going to look into this Punta Cana thing, see what my family plans are for Thanksgiving. AKA, do I have a life? If not, I'll see you at Punta Cana. <laughs> what did he say? If I have anything going on? Yeah. yeah. You guys do a Thanksgiving thing up in uh, We do, but like a Canada. month after you guys. Or a month before you guys. Okay, so it's like this weekend or something? Yeah. Or a couple weekends? Or yeah, it's it's uh, it's on the 16th, I think? Gotcha. Or at least that's when my family is having their dinner because I will be away. You, you will be away? Check. Yeah, I'm going to Eat Day Live London. Okay, right cool. After this. Nice, nice. So you're flying from here to, to there? Yep, straight from here to London. It is, it's not, it's not a great flight. It's not too bad though. You're going I've east coast. Go to two uh, different. I've got to take two exactly. flights, and then I've got to get like a train and a taxi. Oh yeah. Because it's the the casino is is not close to any airport. I just don't really travel international much anymore, because it's just so much. It's just so, such. It's a much bigger hassle, when like, you can also go to poker events like here in North America. You know. And I only travel international. It's brutal. Oh, that actually makes sense. That's I, don't, right. I don't play any poker in America. Unless it's except, except poker night in America. Except for the main. Or if there's a special event, poker night in America. 
exactly. Ten. Skay's middle pair are going to do it. A little bit of a lead here. Nothing too crazy. Sean though. getting visibly annoyed by getting pair over pair. Most hands. If pair over pair is going to upset you, it's going to be tough to play poker. <laughs> because that's going to happen a lot. This is the second round of our first match. Olivier won the first one. So if he uh, if he wins this one, he will be playing me in the final after I beat Helmut. Interesting. The more you know, you know. The more the more you know. Ace Queen Deuce Gutter for Bousquet. Jack high for D, but he does have the backdoor flush draw. He might consider taking a turn. And he does. King on the turn. Bousquet turns the nizzles. The stone nizzles here on the turn for Bousquet. The man who makes straights has made another straight. He is the straight maker. I'm gonna one up him though. You're gonna hit a flush. I'm gonna be the boat maker. No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really one up. Nice. Him. That's a good, actually, a really good play. Although Deep tried that earlier. Yeah, he did. It didn't go great. No, I'm actually, I've, I've been working on a strategy, and uh, a lot of the people in, in the Twitch chat will know about it already. Um, and I'm going definitely going to employ it tonight. It's called the uh, Get Good Card Strategy. It's a, it's a classic. Yeah. Um, tried and true. Tried, it's true. Yeah, it really, really is. Because if you just make enough good hands, it honestly doesn't matter how you play. That's the, actually... The chips will go in the middle eventually. Very true. Yeah. I've, done, I've done a healthy portion of that in my career. Well, I believe it. You just get the better cards, and then... Listen, I've seen you win some tournaments on the internet, and it's like, whew. It was kind of sad not playing a scoop this time around, just because I, I, I was like, well, I could either go up to Vancouver and win another tournament, or I could just stay in Vegas. And I was like, eh. It's hard to, it's hard to, hard to argue with that, you know? I mean, I guess I still did win a few hundred K, so it, didn't, it wasn't like a total waste of time. But um, what going to Canada or in Vegas? In Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah. Would you win a few hundred K at? Uh, Poker Masters. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I got yeah, second yeah. one of those. You got owned. That's it. I got owned. <laughs> I got absolutely owned. He just. I don't even know if I won more than one or two pots. <laughs> I, I don't see that. Remember who it was against? Oh, it was Bryn, right? Bryn, no, Bryn right. Adams. Oh, Bryn Adams. Yeah. I have lost so many heads up. Bryn Adams. Head up. Man. Heads up tournaments or heads-up matches lately. I'm starting to wonder if it's even a strength. So is Brandon Adams just a serious player or what? He's a, I think he's more of a business guy. I mean, he played a lot of poker back in the day. Uh, I think he kind of took a break. He's working on some DFS stuff. I know, okay. I know he has a DFS uh, analytics site. I think he's pretty into that. So, uh, But yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, coming back now to uh, play some poker. He's been on poker. <laughs> <laughs> Harvard is also like everybody knows Harvard. Yeah, right? like yeah. Harvard is definitely the one that jumps out. If you ask someone it, like anywhere in the world, like about like a North American school or an American Harvard for sure, like North American like Canada even gets like I into that race, like a, an American school. Right. Harvard. There's like there are like three people from Yale. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, you're not Harvard. Bobby Brackett's bank. UNC Wilmington greater than Harvard. Well, right. I went to Wilmington. That was nice. I did not go to Harvard. However, did cool, you graduate? Cool fact: I have the same amount of degrees from Harvard as I do from UNC Wilmington. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. There we go. A little piece of trivia there for you guys. I went to an equally uh, prestigious school in Canada. It's as you called the uh, University of Ottawa. Oh, Ottawa. <laughs> I don't think, exactly. like, I mean, I think uh, Kings is, like, a little bit nicer in Canada than, like, the other schools, but it's not, like, there aren't really, like, many schools that, like, really stand out. Like, a queen, a queen's not Kings, queens. You know, I'm going to just be that guy, that American guy right now, 
and like I could not tell you any Canadian universities other than Alberta, and I know that because they have a, like a poker. Y'all definitely have the better schools. Yeah, that makes sense. We, there's more of us. I, I would I would bet that we definitely have an average IQ that higher than America. I, I say definitely. I would bet money on it. I, I'm not going to say anything definitively. Right. But I would say that we do have an average. You guys will have more smart people because of the sheer size. Right. But the average, I would say. Are you talking? Uh, are you talking about certain regions of our country? Are you coming into our country, which welcomed you at our borders, and allowed you to be here to give your fifty thousand dollars to go <laughs> home you and get the experience of that? And now you're going to talk shit and say we're stupid. You dumb Americans, you let me in here. <sighs> yeah, got him. Just remember this conversation. Absolutely. As Phil Helmy stacks as, you. As Phil Helmy and the pain in your eyes. Sends the wrath of America. Exactly. McGill, McGill's reasonable, I think, right? Honestly, it's been a long time since I've, uh, I've gone to university. Shout out to Matt Staples stopping by. Matty Ice. Is it Fatty Ice now? Oh, Fatty Ice. It is now, actually. Actually, he's, like, not really fat. Like, he's just, like, he's just big boned. Big. Yeah. He's like me, big boned, exactly. Right, and me. Okay, so there is a poker tournament going on. King 4 or 3. Bousquet with bottom pair and an open ender. Very interesting turn. Bousquet with the open ender now, and Deeb with the open ender with a flush draw. Check, check once again. I think. Oh, sorry, no. That was just a little. last straight still, yeah. Okay, so Deeb is going to bet. And we're going to get a little action here, guys. Carl Maybe Deeb can start to turn things around. I think, he, I think he basically potted it. Oh, no, okay. There's not a 500 in there, but 15. Bet call. Jack on the river. Deeb gets there. Somehow Deeb's going to turn this into a complaint. Now, actually, it's kind of interesting for Deeb. Does he better check? Uh, I would assume bet since the flop went check, check. Like, it's, yeah. Bet it is. Josh B, do you want to stay on the DLL list or take y'all? All right, we got a couple more entries. We've actually got probably the best entry so far. Definitely the the, the most work has gone into this one. I like that there's a parental advisory for explicit yeah. content content with Young Gun Parker and Fresh Cat Doug. Yeah, it, it wouldn't you would need that for sure. Shout out to Andy Roberts. Thought I'd give back after the giveaway win. You won one of the giveaways? I've given out so much money to so many people, all the names blend together. How, how much money have you given out in giveaways? Forty four thousand. Forty-four thousand. I think. I think it's forty. Maybe it's forty-one thousand. It's, it's something like that. In the last year, a little over a year, yeah. Which is incredible because that just means that you've won infinite. Yeah, that's been nice. It's been nice. Busquets is really unhappy here, by the way. Deep. Yeah, he's tanking. And and it's not a hand that he really has to call. I mean, he could fold. I think having a six is actually not a good card. I think you want your opponent to have eight six, nine six. Um, but yeah, he really, he really did not want to, did not want to let that one go. Oh, for sure, that was gonna be a call or a reveal. I'm okay, fine. thank you. You just hate to use it, don't you? Just want to keep you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> four, yeah, four. I enjoy the reveals in our cash game in New York. We edit as part of that. Oh, cool. I think it's awesome for like live cash. And it just stays in, in play and it just floats around. This is in a uh, casino? Yeah. Cool. At the Borgata? No, it's uh, River Schenectady. Oh, you play there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Is that close to your house? Uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, well. Gay cuts out a three bet. Takes it down.
Play, it's a mixed game? No, it's 510 No Limit. Oh, cool. I, I think it'd be weird in mixed games. I think it's way better in Big Bet. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I was just I I haven't mixed. associated you yeah. more with playing mixed games. Yeah, it's the only, only ever No Limit I play. It's the, reg it's the one regular No Limit it's game. It's the only game I can get going, yeah. yeah. Don't even have all the mixed games approved yet there. Right, yeah. It's a nice place. It's decent. Yeah, it's yeah. small, but uh, obviously it's brand new, so. Right, right, right. Thank you. Ashley says hello, by the way. She may ask about it. It's a best of three, and Olivier is up one nothing at the moment. This is round two. Mine and Helmy's match has not taken place. It will be taking place right here as soon as uh, these two boys are done. It's the big show. That's why people are tuning in, man. The big show, yeah. The you, big got the, you got your, your two fan favorites. Going at it. God, I hope I win. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. I know it's shocking in a $50,000 buy-in that I hope that I win. Um, my mom called me at the airport yesterday and was just like, she's like, it didn't hit me until this morning. She's like, but you're going to play Helmy on TV for $50,000. I know. She's like... Ten years ago, we used to watch WPTs Thanks. and literally laugh at how ridiculous of a human being that guy is. And now you're gonna play him on TV. She's just like, I, she's just like, I can't believe it. Did she just, did just really, did it hit her like how far you've come? Yeah, yeah, that's like, like yeah, like that we're playing Hellmuth on television. You know, like that's insane. My, her. my little park park is now playing against Hellmuth on, yeah. on, on national TV. Little, little young gun. Little young gun. That's yeah. what she said. My little young gun. Uh, that that's true though. That is true. You you uh you're playing the big leagues now, man. Yeah, until I get sent that back to oblivion when Helmuth just four O's me. Decimate. Yeah, four O. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> like I knew I was a dog, but I didn't know I was that much of a dog. He just manages to win four matches. Yeah. It can happen. He can he can wreck you. Absolutely, you know that's the thing, right? Like I've been I've been going on about how like you know we're gonna beat him and I have an edge and, and I definitely think I do have an edge, but at the end of the day it's heads up poker. I mean, help me literally beat Jungle and Polk, two people who are significantly better than me at heads up hold'em. I mean, at all aspects of hold'em, but um, heads up hold'em is the game in question. So yeah, you know if he beat both of you, he can easily beat me. I think it's help. Man. I think if Helmuth can beat me in jungle, it, it really does show you that it is anyone's match out there in the streets. You know, not sure. to downplay the, the the wonder of white magic because that, of course, is alive and well and and 100 percent real. But it, you know, this is a heads up sit and go. Yeah, man. This it's is a heads up sit and go. I know it's fifty thousand dollars. It's got big names and like. You know, there's more play than a normal heads up sit and go. Yeah, I was gonna say it has a reasonable structure and everything, but it's still a heads up sit and go. It is go. still a heads up sit and go. I mean, if you just get to like, uh, you know, 501k in every sit and go, there's only 100 blinds on the table. You know, it's pretty easy to get that much in. Definitely. Even higher. You know, the blinds are only the blinds are only 50 minutes today. 50 minutes today. 20 minutes tomorrow. I mean, all it has to do is go go for a little while and the blinds get small, which is actually terrible for Helmuth, but. Thank you. Yeah, the, the structure is a bit different here. It, it could David definitely go long. Five. I mean, if if D wins the second round here, it's going to be a long one tonight. It's For going sure, to be a yeah. long one. Yeah. Because we are already just about something in the vicinity of That's two hours five into five. it, right? Yep. Right about just over two hours. So, you know, let's just say that the oh, first... Oh, no, well, yeah, yeah, sorry. The first okay. match went for an hour and a half. You know, the second one goes for an hour and a half. We're, we're at three hours, and we're not even done with the first match. So, yeah. Check.
Um, <clears throat> Deep checks back. I was curious to see uh, what Olivier was going to do on the flop. Then deep that into him. Back. I just got kind of bad beaded. I don't think Olivia can bet. So some flowers showed up at my house. My girlfriend thought they were for her. And then she looked at the note, and someone sent my assistant flowers. Your assistant flowers? Uh, somebody sent my assistant flowers. So now I just look like a massive dick. Oh, no. Because she went from like, oh, I got the flowers, and then sent me a picture, and then realized that they were not for her. And that I did not send Are her flowers. Oh, said? no. Poor Caitlin. Yeah. So I, now I look like a bad person for no reason. Go on. Send her some flowers. You got it. Only for you, young gun. Get on there and send her some flowers. Only for you. Dr. Zenu, these commentators suck. Thanks, man. Welcome to the stream today. Appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Any idiots from Northern Europe here? I've been to Northern Europe before. So I will assume that Olivia has opened the 6 5 up and Sean is going to 3 bet. We do not know what Sean has yet. Jack 3 suited, a loose one. He's going to take it down. 4. Got some Norway hype in the chat. What countries are you guys from? What countries we got represented? I'm sure we got a lot of NA, some USA, some Canada A. Some Canada A. We say A a lot. You guys do. New Zealand, Norway, Canada, UK. Germany, Ireland, USA. We actually have a really international audience here at Poker Night in America. A lot of New Zealand, some Greece, some Belgium, Tennessee. It's an interesting country. All right, pocket fives for Deeb. Tank two for Got a couple playable hands here, Parker. A couple playable hands. Woo. Oh my goodness. Woo. Woo. Wow. Bousquet is not even looking at the board right now. He's just like thinking to himself, is this real life? Is this real? He's like looking to the side, just wondering if it's real life or not. <laughs> and it went check check on the flop. Brick turn though. Wow. Where's that five of clubs? 10 high against fives here has 48% equity. This is uh, on the channel what we call uh, a very, very, very typical case of too many outs. Oh, I've actually seen that. that, that uh, the emote. The emo Why can't I think of that word? I don't know. That's how retired from streaming I am. Yeah. I couldn't think of the word emote. Emote, yeah. emote whatever. Well, anyway, we're going to have a bet here from Bousquet. He's overbanked the pot, 3,000 to 2,500. Has Deep had enough? Has he had enough of getting pushed around? No, I mean. The thing is. I guess so, but like, how could you have had enough? Anything that you're ahead of has a ton of equity and is going to probably bet on the river a bunch. Wow. But he does go for the call. He calls. And it Ooh, breaks. That's, this is probably one of the few rivers that could go. Actually, Sean checked back the flop, right? Well, it's interesting for Busquet here. It's actually kind of interesting for Bousquet because, uh, you know, tens, eights, and clubs are, are cards check. that you want to have. Ten high. I guess I faded a little bit there. Was that? I guess I faded a little bit there. Good call. Good hit. Probably not if you have that good of a hand. Now, the good call there from Bousquet was sarcastic, but Deep did not realize it. 
Good call, good hand. Yeah, a little bit of tilt. A little, little bite, a little, a little biting yeah. tilt there. Yeah, little, you, know, you know what it had, Parker? <laughs> had a little sass. It, it did. It had, had just it, a had little, little, oh yeah, hint just of sass. Just such a tiny bit of sass, though. Like, so little that, like, Deep didn't even realize. And honestly, it took me a second to yeah. be like, was that sass? And it was. It was it a little was. bit of sass. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, <laughs> I, did enjoy it. I hope we get a little more of that. Let's, you know, what, I, it would actually be in, it would be in the spirit of, of the match for, for Deep to come back and win this one, <laughs> and then and then have a nice round three. You know, so get someone nice and like riled up and tilted to, to, to go home. That good would be call, good, good, good hand. That's what he said, right? Good call, good hand. I don't sure like this. Like You're like ending up with I the best like hand sometimes. It's, it's really it's, weird. It's messed up. <laughs> it's messed up. You had you too good of a hand there, I think. <laughs> Too many outs, the classic case. I told you, man, it never gets there. It, it just never gets there. How does fives win on 10 9 7, two clubs against 10 8 of clubs? I'm telling you, it's too many outs. It just doesn't happen. It's just math, guys. This is just math. Yeah, it literally is too many outs. It's just is, science. It's is, is, is solve, solve right. science. So deep with queen high here. Uh, he's going to go ahead and take a stab. Not going to get through. He is never going to through in the turn. But, you know, maybe, maybe he decides to fire two. Deep's not done a lot of this. Deep's not done a lot of that. I was about to say, you know, like we haven't really seen Deep fire any two barrels, any. That being said, he hasn't really had that many spots to, I guess. I can't really remember a single time where it's been like, yeah, he could definitely fire fire again here. Yeah. And he's got a pretty reasonable hand to bet twice. You know, he blocks. This time he could fire. He blocks some of the call down hands like, you know, Queens or Queen Jack. Um. He doesn't block any of the missed hearts. Check. Queen high. Uh, but he's not he's not gonna not gonna fire two. I don't think we've seen much multiple street barreling from Deep no. in this match. Um I I can't remember a single time. Yeah, there's not been that many opportunities either. That, that's, that's that's what I was saying. You but know, like but he yeah, he haven't hasn't had any. On a very off topic note here. My brother messaged me a few days ago. He's like, I'm going to start streaming. And it so he got really? in there and he was streaming some PUBG. Dude, yeah. I saw that actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone, you tweeted it out, right? Yeah, it was you quite funny. It yeah. Someone was like, Doug's brother is streaming PUBG? I didn't it know you had a brother. I do. I have a brother and a sister. They're, they're both younger. Nice. Um, he was getting just blasted with poker memes. Was he? Just blasted. Does he, does he have any knowledge about poker? or? No. No. Maybe like a little. It's funny. I, I tuned into the stream and the first thing that I saw was um, he was responding to someone in the chat and like he just like died in PUBG. He's like he's like, No, yeah, my my post op game wasn't very good. They're <laughs> 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 like, just needling him with all I, the uh, stuff. I once hosted uh Deadflip on Twitch, who is a uh, pinball streamer. And he Interesting. and he he streams to like like really not a lot of people, maybe like 30 to 100 people generally. I think he had like 40 people or something, and we host him for like 2K viewers or something oh like boy. that. Oh and boy. it was just constant trolls. It was Correct. just um, how high stakes of pinball is this? Oh, yeah. um, they you love know, it. it was, they love oh it. my goodness. It was really funny, actually. I actually enjoy it. I don't know if it's just the sickness or I just, the trolling about the game types are, are great to me. Hotted. Shout out to Hotted. Doug Tonka, when are we playing PUBG together? Uh, so how did I have one memory of playing PUBG with Doug and uh, I knew he was excellent at the game because within the first two minutes of landing he had told everyone that he had two shotguns and he was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what you laugh but how many people came through the door? How many people came through the door knowing I was holding it down with two shotguns? Fair enough man no one no one no one rolled through the door and the game crashed. And then, yeah, and then we yeah. looted for, for 15 minutes. We ran to a zone, and we were running to another zone, and the game crashed. It did. And I don't think you've opened the game since. Don't, I don't think I have. I was too tilted. But you know what? We actually have a poker match going here today. Yeah, we do. We do. And yeah. we have a raise and a three bet. Deep making some moves. You know what? Deep is back. Dare I say it. He, he held with the fives. He's making some moves with the nine. In a big way. Suited. He didn't fire on a river that he probably was getting called. Deep is back. He's back. He's rocking. He's rolling. He's ready to go. Yeah, I, yeah. I imagine he's getting looked up by that ten nine there, a decent amount. I I don't think he's getting it through against against uh, against Bousquet. I just it, it it really is hard to imagine he's getting that through.
A7 for Deeb, King 5 for Bousquet. Queen 5 deuce. Bousquet yeah. moves into the lead with his middle pair. Deeb's going to mix in a bet here with his ace high. These are some tricky hands, actually. Hands like a7 on boards like this because. It's super similar to the ace8 fold before, right? Oh, sorry. No, no, it's the reverse. Yeah, go on. Basically, if you never bet, then it's hard for you to have an ace on, on ace turns. Um, and, and your bet range becomes a bit exactly. a bit too polar. But if you bet too much, you really open the door for raising, right? Or some light floats. So, you know, you have to find ways to sometimes mix and match. Like, get a bet in here, a check in there. Uh, it's kind of important to, 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 to mix in both. I do think check is a bit better, but... Uh, See if I want to be checking a little bit more than betting. Yeah. Seems good. Check. Five. <laughs> Sean is just visibly annoyed after every pot. How can you be annoyed by king five hitting a five when you have a seven, though? Like, how annoying is that, really? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's uh, just one hand. I think it's, you know. All of the <sighs> hands coming together. He's yawning, but some people haven't even started their matches yet. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be really unfortunate for those folks who haven't started their matches when this one goes on for another I hour and then the last one goes on for whew, three hours. Whew, I would not want to be them. Again, back to the young gun versus old-timer Phil. You know, it's going to be... It's just working in my favor there. Although, here's my counterpoint. Phil yeah, has been fine. napping all day. That's true. Don't care That's for all I day. Day. early. I mean, I, I, I used to like basketball a lot. I used to be a big Knicks fan. I still root for the Knicks, but, like, I just don't... I don't follow any sports to the extent that, like, I know the players or the stats or follow it. Olivier is too busy out there. Parker, yeah. I got a good stat for you. Okay. Politics One is my sport, I guess. It's like the thing Bousquet's I follow. Bousquet's record in this really match so far. times, then. The most relevant stat. Yeah, and I just Deep think in general, just like on the ropes. You know, but can he part. knock him out? Yeah, I, I didn't have anywhere I was going with that, but it just, <laughs> look, <laughs> you have to swing sometimes. And then, and then sometimes you miss. And I was like, all right, that was a miss. I, look, <laughs> I'm I, just staring at Doug trying to figure out what's happening. And you where gave me the look of like, are you being serious with me right now? <laughs> I don't know. It's not funny, so I can't laugh. But uh, it doesn't seem like you're being serious, so I actually don't know what's going on right now. It was a confusing moment there. Yeah, it's all right. Welcome to the booth. <laughs> Do you best the turn takes it down? Yeah, we got, they're neck and neck. This is this is right there. Did you grow up in New York? Anyone's game. Yeah, I grew up outside Albany. So, so have you been like New York sports fans? Like, are yeah. you a fan of the Yankees and the Giants? But once I got into poker, it was just so tough to like, you know, I played too many hours to watch any games or do anything. So you're one of those guys that just like fucking puts in the time. Weren't yeah? you a volume guy back in the day? Yes, online. Yeah, yeah huge. Yeah, like 90 to 100 hours a week. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that is. But a was lot most of your time sitting waiting for games, or did you have action constantly? Uh, I would say most of the time action, um, 13. Like that was the I thing like, like that most folks. when I like switched to mix and would sit at tables, like it was just so boring to sit and wait for act, like sure. as it got drier and drier, sure, it was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. I just would want to do something else. I'd need to be in action. I'd find a bad game exactly. opposed to waiting for a good game. Yeah, I know that. Now I, I invited that. both these games, both these. <laughs> Both these guys, uh. both these guys to a football game on Sunday, and both said yes. And then a day later, Bousquet pulled the rug out from under me and said he actually had some things he had to do. Oh. So only D went, a real man of the people, willing to put in the time and hang out with me. Do you think? Uh, do you think it's because he heard that you had also invited myself, and that's why he was out? Why would that be, though? Maybe he doesn't like me. I, d does he not like you? Is there something that I don't know that you know? No. I, I called I'll ca I called Olivier a while ago, uh, Oliver Button. 
biscuits. All, all of our biscuits. All our biscuits. I, I actually called him that for a while, too. When I was on uh, Joey's podcast. And I, I think I might have said something like, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. I, I don't think that's right. I just think he had something he had to do. I'm just needling him. Should be fun, though. Oh, my God. We've got a make Polker great again shirt on the rail. Make Polker great again, guys. And, and to really uh, just, like, go hand in hand, because these things do go hand in hand really well, he's holding a Phil Helmuth book. That's a great point. That's actually a really good point. You have to get the signed Helmuth book. Get out there and sign his shirt. To when you make Polk. I'm not going to sign his shirt. That'd be weird. Find another game just go up, to bu go up behind him. Just take a shirt yeah, down and yeah. just be like, you'll so like, thank that, me that later. That was an opportunity, I think, <laughs> in which I could have and maybe... Shout out to make Polk great again, though. You should have tried to learn other games. But I, instead, I tried to do things different from poker. You know, like, like but when you're sitting like on your computer, like, you can't do that, you know? Or no, you, no, you, you can. Oh, you I can just mean, like, like, read something, you know, oh, like, okay. yeah, so, something like that. So sometimes productive, sometimes not. But still something the like American fundamentally American Airlines just, for deep here. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. They're kind of beautiful, you know? You look down at them. Like, those, those are beautiful. All right. Let's put a couple of hearts out there. Five five four. Now, any chance to be a check raise from, from Olivia I here? It seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, right? I I don't think it's too likely, uh, but it's possible. You know, it's possible. What are you thinking? It's a kind of hand where you could raise, and then, you know, if you get a turn like a six or a deuce or a seven or a heart, you could look to like you know barrel fairly credibly. You're gonna have a chunk of fives here. Uh, now. The problem kind of is for Bousquet, if he's going to raise hands like this, he's also going to have lots of flush draws and actual straight draws. So it's the kind even of play. Just better, even just better, like, 3x of hearts. Mm -hmm. Like, three, like, yeah. But a lot of those sorry, can sorry, call. Sorry, straight draws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so a lot of those can call. So oh, he does fold. Okay. Uh, I, I like his fold. I like his fold. But if he want wants to, to you know, there. once in a while, once hey, in a while, uh, go for it. In between hands, you know. I said it was a razor fold hand. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of those hands, like, I could probably raise some percent of the time. So it's like I have to figure out how to decide what, you know, like, which times are those, you know? That's not how I play, so I wouldn't have to be in that spot. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I, I do find it kind of fun that Deeb Like, if you ever play with Ike, actively sometimes he just, like, looks at the clock, <laughs> you know, and, like, and just, like, determines, like, which action he's taking. Yeah, I mean, that's reasonable in high rollers, but I mean, when you have a fish playing heads up, how can you, like, try <laughs> to play that way? Uh, so self-deprecating. Hey, it is I can't dish it out without accepting it, you know? And if you're <laughs> not going to insult me, yourself. I have to insult myself. Right, right, know? right. If I'm not going to do it, then somebody yeah. has to do it. He <coughs> actively embraces not trying to play correct, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, surely Deep has to know at some level that mixing between two plays is good. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So when he says that's something that I would do, do you, do you think he's priding himself on not playing correct, or, or do you think he's like what's he trying to do with that? You know. Uh, obviously, there is a chance that he's lying. That he, I, I don't think that that's the case. But I mean, there is a chance that he does. Uh, play oh, I like see. that, and that he's just saying okay. that, he, that he doesn't. Oh, um, so, so maybe maybe Deeb is actually way more in the theory side than we think. It's Your possible. I, I don't but, think so. But here's my okay. counterpoint is I've seen him play. Okay, so, so he's so not. I, well, he's a live player, right? Live players oh, generally, oh, like oh. these days, he doesn't play online oh, anymore. Oh, right. Live players are generally less significantly less theory-oriented. Definitely. And much more white magic-based. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another overbet on the turn, a very slight one, I believe. Amazing how much this exact board and situation has come up so far. It's true. And I always get to fold the exact same hand. You're the same hand every time? Effectively. I think I've had two value and one bluff at the three. Yeah. I remember the 10 4 bluff. Definitely the ace, king, queen, seven um, was the bluff one. Yeah. yeah, he was right. Not this time, but the time before, I, I had the stone cold nuts. The king, the king came in, and I had Jack 10. Jack 10. And you were just like 
snap, you full. It's like right before the chips hit the fell, you full. And I was like, oh, I, no. I had Jack Nine. I almost did something silly. Did it, it wasn't that much of an almost because you pulled it he quick. He snap pulled I mean, I know what you mean. That was a no, lie I've ever seen yeah, one. Yeah, if he bets, all right, I, we're just going to yeah. let it go. I almost did something. And then if we could get the replay up he right here, it, yeah, it was yeah. like the bet as yeah. the bet left Bousquet's hands, the cards hit the muck. So I know Doug was like, "This is a good hand to bluff with." And then <laughs> like... Yeah, I hate that Doug guy. He just always gives you the worst advice, you know. Jack, like, why would you raise? Oh, I had raised nuts. Three. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, you bet into the nuts as well. I do sometimes against, against Helmuth. Yeah, Jack. that was bad. That was bad. All right, we got a couple hands here. D picks up a flush draw, but uh, not going to get there. Three Pretty pair. terrible river, turn river. Little three bet from Deeb here. Takes it down. Deeb's fighting back. One, four, seven, eight. Doug is a pigeon. Thanks, man. Welcome to the stream here. For match one at King of the Hill 2. We got sound. I'm right here. My Wee is green. Doug, did that EPT winner who called you out ever contact you to play? He did contact me, but I don't think it's going to end up working out. Hmm. Are those pigeons in the chat? Do we have do we have pigeons? You're right here, quad nine with an ace. Deep with the queen, deuce, Busquet with the queen eight. Queen eight, sorry, queen jack eight. Another uh, fun spot here for Deep. He's going to have to navigate. A call here. Nine on the turn should slow the action down. Check. Check, check. Yeah. Seven on the river. We're probably going to see a check from Deeb. Maybe he could go for a little value. He's reaching for some chips. Call. Queen. <laughs> I flopped top fair. Exciting. You're not the first. That's been happening.
Bousquet up one round and the lead here in the second. Deep not out of, out of it yet though. Still got a pretty healthy stack, not even a two to one chip dog. Plenty of play left here in our second round. If you're just tuning in, it's a $50,000 buy-in winner-take-all tournament. Today are the semifinal matches, both our best two out of three. Our matches are Olivier Bousquet against Sean Deeb. And then later, Parker Talbot against reigning champion and the current king of the hill, Phil Helmuth. Another pot taken down pre-flop here from Bousquet. Re-raising with the 8-7 seated. Skate looks down at Jack for offsuit. Might decide to open, could lay it down, but he's gonna play. D makes the call with 10 9 off. Both players miss our flop ace, king, five, rainbow. The current score is 1 0 Bousquet, who takes another pot with a flop bet. Also starting to build his lead here in the second round. Tonka's name is Parker Talbot. Tonka is his online nickname. He's gonna have his hands full with some white magic coming up later. A small pre-flop, raise fold. Terry Sparks asks, any slow rolls yet? We've not had any slow rolls, but part of the problem is for Deep to slow roll Bousquet, he actually has to have a big hand, and I don't think we've seen that so far. Not as much banter at the table anymore. Our warriors are not as fresh as they were a few hours ago. Deep opens it up with the queen six. This game with the jack nine of clubs. Deciding what his, what his option here should be. He's gonna go for the raise. Decent size three, but he takes it down free. A lot of pre-flop raise folding going on here, guys. D looks tilted AF. It's a little tilted right now. Don't think this match has kicked off in the way that he would have liked it to, but not too much he can do about it. Nice.
Doug, where has Jake Harver been? That's a good question. I haven't seen Jake Harver around too much in the Twitch streets. King Trey, two clubs. Player in 11, player in 27. Skate bets the flop. Deep popped a big hand here, guys. He's got a gutter to the nuts and the second off flush draw. He's going to go ahead and make the call. Skate drawing very slim here. Four in the turn, both players brick. Now, is Bousquet going to continue to tell the story he told in the flop? Check, check. Club on the river. Deeb makes his flush. Maybe things are starting to turn around a little bit for Sean. Not going to be too much value to be had here. Bousquet just has jack high. Take it down. <laughs> Phil Helmuth and Parker Talbot will be playing at the conclusion of this match. We do not know when that will be, so. I have to just stay tuned. King three and nine seven, Busquet flops top pair. Deep doesn't have too much going. Does decide to bet the flop. 2200. Just about a half pot size bet. This game makes the call. The turn is a seven. D picks up bottom pair. This case taught in the lead, but now D at least has a few outs to approve to win. Check, check, seven on the river. Deep makes trips. Another big hand here for Deep on the river. It's gonna be tough for Bousquet to get away from this one. Skay goes ahead and bets. Great spot for Deeb. Question is, there's some room for value. Interesting spot here from Deeb. It's kind of unlikely a seven is beat. Busque did have a full house. He might be checking the river sometimes. Not too many hands from the flop that could call have a seven. I think we're probably going to see a raise out of Deep. Neves says, looks like you're rooting for Deeb, Doug. You can't be partial in the commentator booth. If you only knew, my friend.
Looks like D might be just going for a call. Oh, here we go, guys. Buckle up. Deep does raise. Looks about 15,000 here. thousand it is tough spot now for Busquet who knows that he does not have many three of a kinds in this situation King is one of his better hands holds this he's gonna fold a lot of hands bit of a tough spot now I almost checked. I almost did. So close. Oh, your hand was too bad? What's up? Your hand was too bad to check? I don't know. I had, you know. You had too much of it? No, it was just weird. Just, I don't know. I almost checked, but, but. Then I almost called, but no, I don't know what to do. Not sure. You're the heads up specialist. You should know what to do. So I wish that meant I always Ooh. knew what to do. Now, Deeb. Digging the knife a little bit. Oh, that's Feeling too good. <laughs> Picking up some chips. <laughs> that was more than I meant. Oh, Busquet no. Don't do now anything. raises. Just for 500 more chips. Raises too big. And this is getting pretty On. interesting. Wow. That's a crazy play. I have actually a pretty good hand. <laughs> That's, uh, what's happening right now? How many chips is that? He just said all in for 500 more chips. That's nuts. Wow, this is 20, crazy. 30, 30. Uh, 45, 46,000. That's super nuts, This man. is a 55 big blind jam here over this open. All right, it's, it's 46, is that the number? I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I can just count my own chips. You don't have to worry about it. 10, 20, 30, 40. Wow. I think 45, 50. 45, 50. Uh, yeah. What are the blinds? Four and eight? 45,000 chips. Let me just make sure I have this hand. This was and extremely if my hand aggressive. Was a little bit better. This would be such an easy play. Pretty hard to see Bousquet letting this go. Can have so oh. many weaker hands when he opens. I just could have you so dead right now. I really could. I could have you so dead. You do have him so dead, Bousquet. You do. Any doers with one three seed? You do have me dead. So annoying, man. Yeah. And unless Deeb hits a deuce here. I want to shove over call. <laughs> this will be the end of our first match. It's Deep you, needs a deuce. No, I know. I, Ace Jack four, no help on the flop. Can Deep catch a deuce? So you had like four. King five. on the turn. It's all down to this. Good game. Five on the river will close yeah, it yeah, out, and Olivier faster. Bousquet <laughs> it's okay. will be the winner of our first match here at King of the Hill. There he is, the man.
the myth. What's up? You took it down, dude. What, what happened, dude? Well, like, the, the match was, like, playing relatively even. I had a small lead, and then I literally just made a mistake with the chips Can and put an extra 500 chip out there. Down. And then I think Sean, like, tried to take advantage of that by making an aggressive move with his hand. He was a bit unlucky that I had two sevens. Um, but at the same time, I think he kind of overvalued the edge he was getting from that extra chip. It's not like I threw a in there. Okay. Um, and so he like went all in with a pair, which is actually never like that terrible of a play. You really have to be pretty unlucky for your opponent to have a, a also a pair. But I did, and that ended up being a massive hand. Nice, dude. Wait, one second here. I actually have some. This is crazy. This is breaking news. Wow. Dude, I don't know. So people up there, they there's doping allegations right now. Oh, that's they think that you've been juicing, yeah. and they've asked me. Great. They've asked me to have thank you, you for, do a P yeah, test after the match. Doing this, that's great. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're not going to be able to clear these results <laughs> right now. They're pending. There's an asterisk next to his win until he completes wow. this urine test. Will Jesus. you please hold this? This is a good bit. I right. have this. It's a good bit. Actually, no, this give isn't a bit. This is real. Credit. Allegations <laughs> are <laughs> swirling. So he will move on to face the winner of Tonka's and Philly Hellmuse. <laughs> but hey, who knows what happens? After this P test, <laughs> we'll keep you posted. Jesus. Hey, congratulations temporarily. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Appreciate go rest it. up and right. give me at least a half a cup full, okay? <laughs> you got it, yeah. All right, we're going to be back in the booth talking with Dougie Polks for a little bit, and then we are back for the match you all are waiting for. It's Philly Hellmuth versus the streamer, the legend Tonkas. Let's go, King of the Hill 2. All right, we are back here in the booth. Do we have a visual here? I am joined. It is Pete Manzanelli, the person you guys keep asking, who the hell is that in the chat? And let me just say, it's your worst nightmare. I'm on TV, and you're not. Well, my worst nightmare, because, you know, interviewing me was never ever. I think you jinxed me. As soon as you uh, came near me, I just started losing. I, I never lose on these shows. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, you're going to look at what was the unique variable, and you're going to point to me, and you're going to blame me, aren't you? Yeah. See, I could. So, but on the flip side, Olivier Bousquet is going to think. Flip side, nice. All good, flip side. Good, good, good. Good, uh, nice plug. Yeah, Flipside Gaming. Is there any, are, you, are you the premier spokesperson? Uh, no, it's uh, a guy I became friendly with uh, his company from uh, Rivers Connectedy. And, you know, I keep hinting that I want to be his partner in some way. And, you know, he asked me to wear his uh, sweatshirt. So I was happy to do a little product promotion for him. There you so go. So I can see Flipside Gaming on Amazon. They have a whole host, everything gaming-wise, you know, cards, board games, dice, everything you want. Nice. there. Awesome. There you go. There's your plug. There's what you're doing after this ends this evening. Flipside Gaming. All right. You're in, you're in pretty good spirits. I'm impressed. I thought you might be like the press. You might have ran back to the room, avoided wait, the wait, press. Wait. I mean, walk slowly. Let's be honest. Olivier would have ran to the room. I will walk slowly. Olivier would have been doing some like burpees and mountain climbers <laughs> yeah. on the way. Um, Lunges or something. Yeah. No, you were you were hailing a cab. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, you know, it's part of the profession. You know, I treat this as a buying. It's just a tournament. I knew I was, you know, playing a heads-up specialist, so I was expecting to lose. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too mad at how I played. I think the, uh, you know, the hand, the deuces hand will be discussed, but I I'm pretty sure I know confidently that's profitable. It's kind of a spot I've talked with a few people from years ago for someone opening that wide in the button. That extra 500 I think makes a little bit less profitable call. Yeah, my hand's kind of face up as a small pair, so I was actually surprised he had it. Uh, I knew he had a pair when he said some things. I thought he had fours or fives. The fact he had sevens, I mean... I almost never. I never have, you know, eights plus there, so I think he has a pretty easy call there and a, and a you know happy call, but uh, no big deal. It's you know on to the next poker night. Maybe I'll get invited back to King of the Hill. Maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, and uh, I, it was interesting. I heard you say ahead of time or leading into the match, you're like, I'm not known for being a no limit player, and I'm not known for being a heads up no limit player. What? So what's why? Why do this? Why? Why come play heads up no limit? Um. I just like putting on a good show, you know. I saw Helmuth win, so I knew anyone could win. And, uh, you know, I thought that I liked the uh, cast of characters when uh, I signed up for this. I didn't really know Tonka that well. Olivia, I thought I could hold my own, which, you know, obviously I lost 2 0, but uh, I still think, you know, I think if the cards were, if we were in different seats, he would have lost pretty similarly on the first match. Who knows the second match, how it would have went out, because I don't think he would have shoved uh, deuces. But, uh, whatever. You know, you gotta you gotta move on. If you're if you're card dead, you're card dead, right? I mean, it's it's not just card dead. You know, it's not really having equity. You know, I, a few times I had a draw, I couldn't really check raise. I check called a couple times. It's just you miss and you miss and you just get bled down. I mean, I think he probably won like 70, 80 percent of the hands of the heads up match, and I definitely wanted to barrel some spots, but I just always had you know the worst hand and 
he had the better hand and the better board. Yeah. Who do you, who do you like now uh, in this field? First in this next semifinal, and then facing uh, Busquets. You know, I know almost nothing about Tonka's game. I've never I think I, I played with him like twice online. I think Phil is gonna be a lot more comfortable at these stakes. I think he's a lot more comfortable live poker. So I I wouldn't be shocked if uh, you know Phil picks up a read or two on Tonka and ends up using that to kind of abuse him because being heads up, you're gonna see when people are weak or strong a lot more. Yeah, uh, excellent. Well, I appreciate you jumping in, chatting it up. Uh, make sure you get a cab, maybe maybe a Bill Poker Night in America for a stretch limo. Take it back that half mile back to the hotel and have a nice night. I definitely will charge him a little bit. <laughs> All right. Thanks, We'll guys. see you, man. All right, we're going to get Olivier Bousquets over here, our champ, the guy moving on to the finals. That's tomorrow, same time. The stream is going to kick off uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern and we will have the finals, but up next, we of course have Tonkas, we have Phil Helmuse, and you know what, uh, I'll take a second to read the chat. You guys just seem to be just uh, a wealth of positivity and things that will feed me. I fuel off of the hate, so feel free to say the thing that you need to say about me. Just get it out right now, just get it out. Man's interview that tattoo piercing chick. I did see her out there, dude. I would definitely like to interview her. I'm sure she has some stories. Uh, what else do we got up here? What's up with the clown chest? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I hit the gym five days a week. I got pecs that would make your mom blush, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you the mascot? No, dude, I'm like the sideline reporter slash superstar slash currently I'm commentating. Dougie Polks is taking a shit right now or something. I don't know what Dougie Polks is doing. Uh, Tonkas, you guys love Tonkas, dude. I love Tonkas too, but you guys really love Tonkas. Uh, we're going to bring Olivier Bousquets as much as you guys would like to watch me vamp for 30 minutes because trust me, I could. I could if you needed me to, but we're going to bring in Ooh. the champ. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh, he took the pee test, folks. Everybody. There it is right there. I assure you this is not apple juice. He dropped <laughs> trow and pissed into it. Ooh, it's overflowing a little bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I was going to set it down, but then it goes out of view, so I guess I will just continue to hold your yeah, piss. They see it. They see it. That's All right. enough. And this is, um, we actually should don't probably test it. What are you doing? <laughs> I, see, the thing is, I don't know if this is actually urine. It's still, it's still hard to tell. I think it might actually be urine. I mean, I eat pretty clean, you know? I w okay, no. I hey, chat. If you guys start a Kickstarter for a, a hundred thousand dollars, I'll drink it. Get the Kickstarter, Indie Go Go Kid. Wow. <laughs> I know all of you guys are flush with it. No, I will not drink it. Look, I have a limit. I've done some disgusting things in my life, but I have a line. All right. What's so, up, man? What's up? What's up, dude? How are you feeling? I'm doing. You, you I'm took doing great, down. man. It sounded like you ran pretty hot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I like. I was listening to a bit of what Sean said, and he was right. I mean, I either had the best hand or some card came that allowed me to, like, be aggressive in a lot of spots, and, like, he was just seemingly always at the bottom of his range. So, like, that's just – I mean, that's going to happen sometimes, and uh, I'm, like, just half thrilled that it happened in this spot. Yeah, and you, you admitted that you accidentally bet bigger than you wanted to on the button. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I – like, both of us, and I think a lot of people, like in this context, will have relatively standard raise sizes. So, like at, at this at this blinds, like I was raising two and a half blinds. You know, I'm raising to two k, which is four or five hundred chips. And I literally, you know, sometimes it just happens. I literally just did it quickly, had five in my hand, and threw it out there. And then after, like, I threw it out there and realized it, I just like made it explicit instead of just like being quiet and pretending like whatever. I just like made it explicit and he, I think he read a bit too much into that he told me later that he thought that that meant that I didn't have a particularly strong hand so he felt even more inclined to make an aggressive action um, and that's the kind of thing that I probably personally wouldn't try to interpret just because it's very difficult to interpret and when you make a mistake it can be a costly one um, but he kind of went for it and I did happen to have an over like a, a pair in my hand which is Pretty fortunate when he jams. Nice. So now we, we got Tonkas. We got Phil Helmuth. Yep. Is there a guy you would prefer to play tomorrow night for that 200K up top? Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, Phil is, you know, like a unique, you know, person, a unique character in the poker world. I think it would be a lot of fun to play him. Um, this question tends to, like, 
basically be like, who do you think is better? So who do you want to play that you think is worse? I, I don't know enough about the way Tonka plays. Phil obviously uh, has had a lot of success in a lot of different forms of poker. He he won the last King of the Hill. It's still a high variance format, so that doesn't really tell you much. But like. I don't know enough about both of their games. I actually think in this particular context, where it's live and heads up, like it, it'll be fun to watch the match and kind of see who's more comfortable, who's playing well, who has a better sense of strategy. But I don't have a particular preference, though I think it'd be maybe a bit more fun and exciting to play Phil. So tonight, do you go out and party, or do you stay up late watching the Twitch replays and trying to get intel on your opponent tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I think I would have watched the replay. I might stay in the booth with Doug. Um, and uh, and watch from here, and then maybe go back to the hotel room and watch. I don't. I mean, I, what are you doing tonight? If you want to go out, maybe oh, I'll we're go gonna out. we're gonna go out. If you go out, go out, then I'll, I'll go out. Yeah, a bit. we gotta have some <laughs> of these on the rocks. <laughs> we gotta get some get some drinks flowing. Uh, yeah, dude, we'll we'll go out. I but I just you know I don't want to be the one responsible of having you waking up you know drunk and hung over in a ditch somewhere, and then they're like, what happened to Olivier's? And they're like, well, he just had a classic night out with the mans. You know, I can't have classic, that on my hands. Classic mans, classic mans. Exactly, dude. Yeah. I hear Pittsburgh, incredible nightlife, crazy clubs, beautiful women. So kind of the world's our oyster. I've heard good things actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down to check it out. Okay, we'll All check right. it out. All yeah, right. you, if, yeah. And, if and especially tomorrow. If tomorrow goes well, then we're going hard. Oh, that we're going hard, dude. Yeah, okay. Two hundred that. Yeah, you take down either Phil. Or Tonkas, and then then we're going out for sure. Uh, I will say it was interesting before the match. So Phil had a line out the door for his book signing. He's I amazing. will I will say it was a slightly geriatric crowd, but <laughs> people nonetheless. <laughs> but then I'm sitting there waiting for that match to start, and Phil's sitting there, and Tonkas sitting there as they're getting prepared to go here in a second, and someone walks up and shouts out Tonka, says, I love your stream. Felt like a changing of the guard movement. Maybe wow. we have a younger generation now. Okay. They're recognizing this online streamer in the flesh. I was pretty impressed. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, I, I know that streaming has gotten, like, you know, big in, in, um, in the poker community. I know Doug's streams. I've actually watched a few of Doug's streams. I haven't watched that many others, but I know Tonka's, like, one of the big ones, like, created a big following. And I think that's great, especially if it's bringing people who wouldn't otherwise, like, normally be interested or... or or know as much about poker or follow it. So that's obviously great. Um, and I do think there's a real contrast in their styles. Like, there's some contrast between me and Sean, right? I mean, I I played heads up for a living for a long time, and, and Sean is basically, like, just plays all forms of poker and is good at, at, at everything um, without much of a specialty. But here, like, Phil is, like, the kind of prototypical live white magic, you know, that kind of thing. And then Tonka really seems like an online specialist he was specializing i think sp specifically in like hyper turbo sit and goes which is like a thing that almost can only exist in the online world you know what i mean it's yeah. like pretty niche pretty specific um so i think it's a uh, it'll be an interesting contrast to see so when you hear that people are coming up to tonka's in person does it inspire you to start your own twitch stream you're going to get out here six hours a day you got to put in the work yeah i, I think there's two like war first of all it's a ton of work um and second of all I just, i'm not sure i have the the, the right qualities. I mean, uh, I, I don't know if I can be... I don't know, dude. You got the right qualities, <laughs> all right? If you know what I'm <laughs> is saying. It, is <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I don't know if I can be entertaining and fun and positive and energetic for that amount of time. I don't know if I could do it while I was playing, especially. Well, it doesn't have to be playing. It's maybe just like a cam inside your gym, people just watching. <laughs> inside the gym, really? People would be gripped. I mean, they're wondering, it, w w they want to see you juicing up, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know, a little bit of this. You know, This you is to it. prove that I'm not juicing up. Hey, we're going to taste it. I mean, <laughs> test it. We're going to test it, not taste it. <laughs> test it. Jeez, I will not drink his piss, okay? <laughs> Unless it is told that you can tell if he's been doping. I really by hope my mom stopped watching the stream. Oh, your Jesus. mom? Shout out to Mrs. Bousquet. <laughs> what is up, Mama B? How? Uh -huh. Where is she watching from? <laughs> from uh, from Manhattan, I guess. Manhattan. Yeah, wow, nice, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Yeah. Right. So, do you do you think she's proud of you? Has All right. Let's let's not talk about my mom. Okay. All right. He he's okay having his piss on air, but not talking about his mother. We just found the line with uh, Olivier, and we can't cross it. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Hands off, chat. Do not talk about Olivier's mom. If I see one of you in the chat right now, bring up his mom. I swear to God, I will come down there and I will find you right now. <laughs> do not talk about his mom. All right, I, now we're good. Yeah, I, we're, I stopped okay, it. I right. nipped it in the yeah, butt. Uh, you really, you were subtle about it. Okay. Too. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you coming. No, yeah, in. Yeah, thanks Aaron. for uh, having me. Hey, thanks for bringing your piss over, dude. <laughs> you're welcome. I appreciate that. You're a man of your word.
Excellent. Well, we'll get you out of here. Right, you man. go you go relax, and right, cool. uh, we'll hit the town later. You see who you're playing. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you back here tomorrow night. All right. Looking forward to it, man. All right. Peace. All right, peace. All right. We still have a little time here. You're stuck with me. You guys are stuck with me. It's just the it's just you and me in this chat box. We're gonna bring Dougie Polks back into the booth here. You guys, can we get like the the online equivalent of a round of applause for Dougie Polks coming back in? Whatever the online equivalent is there praise clapping emojis? Can we get a bunch of those? Right, man. Guess what? Guess what, buddy? Guess what? There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> All right. So, no, uh, there is a new sheriff in town, but that's not what I'm here to say. I'm, I'm here because I have an announcement. I have an announcement to make. We got an announcement to make Is here. it a giveaway? Damn it, Mans. I told you. Don't steal my thunder. We all know Poker Don't Nights in America. Is it about televised poker? It's actually a vehicle for your giveaway, so just <laughs> get it out of the way. No, it's actually not a giveaway, guys. I'm here to announce that we have King of the Hill 3 coming for you guys and it's pretty soon here. It's going to be this month on the 25th and 26th at Sugar House in Philadelphia. We got a new lineup of of people coming in to try and take that belt away from our eventual champion champion here on King of the Hill. We've got think about the, let me think about this. We've got why am I blanking? Dan Coleman is going to be in the mix. Scott Blumstein also going to be the our main, main event, event champion, champ. and also Brandon Adams. Brandon Adams will be coming in there too. Former we have Harvard adjunct new. professor Whew. Brandon Adams. Whew. Wow, this is and of course the defending of champ. Of course, the defending champ. So we could theoretically have a three P opportunity for Philly Helmius. We could. We wow, could. three P. However, he's got a tall, tall order in front of him here. He's got to win two matches. He's got Parker coming up now. He's got Busquet in the finals tomorrow, and that'll be great because, of course, I'm going to see all you guys there tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern for our grand final Busquet against To Be Determined. Who do you guys think in the chat? Who you guys got? You got you got the White Magic or you got the Tonk Punts? Who you got? Who you got in the chat, guys? That's right. Yeah, throwing uppercuts. I don't, does Tonka have, like, we need, you know, we got the White Magic for Phil. We need some kind of... You know, signal sign right. language thing for some Tonka. Sign, Let's make this be the Tonka. I picture this he's like the, the little fighting okay. Irish guy. He's the little. Doom, he's, doom. Have you met Tonka? I I have met him. I've he's, actually talked with him yeah, a few yeah, times yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not the little guy. I don't think. All right, look at the chat. Guy. They love their Tonka. Dude, here they love Tonka. They dude. love their. You making a move on me over here, bro? Dude, you're always. making a move, bro? What's always, this? dude. What's this? Just I just it, keeping it cash? Yeah, I need someone to, to... I've been trying to put on the deodorants tonight, dude. I've been oh, perspiring yeah, that's, that's at a good. rapid rate. Oh, so. that's a rapid rate. Yeah, yeah. it's great to be here. Great uh, to be here. All right. Yeah, no, I mean, I still feel like you got to be getting hot in that blazer. I know deep down inside you identify as a tank top man at I heart. I it do. has to be killing you to put on this facade of a professional human being. It's not me. Huh? But sometimes you got to do things you don't want to do, you know? It's Sometimes tough. you got to step in there and know that you're going to lose to Bousquet, right? You don't yeah. have any chance. People know you have no chance. They put the poll out there. They said D won't win. And he just immediately got 2 0 They fed him. They just fed him into a lion. He just tore through him. Did you see how quickly he just tore through Deeb? I, and I, it we, was almost like, like he wasn't even there. We got to give it to the betting public, right? We were saying, hey, you guys aren't giving him a chance, and yet they were right. They put their money, they got it in good, and they, they get paid off. Good. They do. They get paid off. I, I believe, is there still time to put in uh, bets for tonight? I don't know. <laughs> you know, try to get the money in real quick. Right. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm still putting my money on Phil Helmius. I'm still putting it on Philly Helmius. Yeah, I mean, he's in there. He's in there. He's in there. Uh, excellent, dude. Well, I'm stoked. King of the Hill 3, man. King of the Hill 3. Every good thing, like, in, in life, like, gets better with sequels and trilogies. This has been That's proven. They, they always say, you yeah. can't judge a show by its first two seasons. you got to wait until they get rid of some of the main cast and start filling it in with other people. That's yeah. when shows hit their stride. Yeah. Take it like, you know, Home Alone 1, classic. Home Alone 2, classic. Home Alone 3, the best one in the trilogy. Right. I've not watched... I, I was young. Wow, did you hear that chat? How old yeah. are you, man? How, How old are you? None of your damn business, dude. I'm <laughs> eternal. I'm eternal. All right, I can't give away my age, dude. Well, I'll have all these catfishers on the internet trying to steal my identity. Do you know how how much people would pay to be able to steal my identity and live my life, Doug? I mean, 
I don't know. I have no idea it's, how much It's in pay. demand, so I can't give out my it's age, right? Demand. But I will give out my Who? social security number. Who? It's 654. What? What? Who? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just going to give out my social security <laughs> number. Uh, Doug, what's coming up on Upswing Poker? <laughs> Bro, we got, we got a new PLO course coming out, man. We got a new PLO course. We're closing the PLO University. If you guys like four cards of poker, closing that on Monday, $300 discount until that happens. Then we're launching the PLO Lab. We got the No Limit Lab, and now we're launching the PLO Lab. It's going uh, to be pretty fun. Have right? you guys thought about calling it the PLOMG Lab? Uh, I, I think you're confusing your memes. No, no, I think I you think that was PLO Olker is what you should have said there. No, no, PLO Upswing. Okay, never mind. I, I think just you made a Galfond. A Galfond? I think you made a Galfond joke. Is that what it's called? That's, that's, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize to everyone. I did not mean to make <laughs> a Galfond joke. I think people want some more poker, dude. I think they are hungry. Are they ready, though? They are hungry Are they for ready it. for some, what is it, Philly's Helmuths? Philly Helmuths. Philly Helmuths, of course. And Only Tonkas Helmuths. slash and Tonkas. Parker Talbots. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise known as Young Gun Parker. Young Gun Parker, young dude. Gun He's Parker, an upstart yeah. young man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great to see them battling. I've been hearing. He's been wondering how much, I heard him saying to you, how much is Philly Helmuth going to belittle me out there? He's prepared. He has his guard up. He he did seem a little defensive. He was like, you know, he res like he at least respects you. He at least respects Jungle. He probably doesn't even know who I was, you know. It's true. Well, they it's are true. telling <laughs> us that this match is about to get underway. I'm going to let you do the honors. Why don't you Thank send you. us over to the action, Dougie Polks? I will. I'm going to be here for the action. Oh, I guess I am doing the honors of leaving. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Get hey, out, get I'm, out of my booth. I'm gonna leave get this out. piss right here that. for you. That's you for you. No, no that, that's that, it. Just no, take a quick uh, little no, sip. That, 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 just that quick little sip. All right. Uh, this is not even. We don't drug test in poker. It's not a thing. I hope it's not a thing. Not many people would would make it if it was a thing. <laughs>